welcome to the first episode of Raspberry Pi for Kids. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your brand new Raspberry Pi. This is my new Raspberry Pi that I just got from Element 14. And here I am taking it out of the box. And as you can see the Raspberry Pi is nicely packaged in an ESD package. And now all you have to do is carefully take it out. And voila, here you go. It's difficult to believe that an entire computer is packaged in such a small board, isn't it? Here are your USB ports, your LAN port, it even has an HDMI port, it has a micro USB port, it has a nice little processor sitting right in the middle as you can see over there. Now, let's not waste any time, let's get started. Before you do anything, the first thing you need is a micro SD card. Here's one in my hand. I have an 8 gig Kingston micro SD card and remember to download loops from the link that I have shown below that's N O O B S. Now that you have your noob files copied into your SD card it's time for you to plug it into your Raspberry Pi. There's a small little adapter on the base of the Raspberry Pi board that you can see. Just plug in your SD card, turn on the power and it's now ready to boot up. Here's how the connection would look like when you have your Raspberry Pi all connected. The first thing that you need to do is you need to connect a HDMI cable to your TV. If you don't know what's a HDMI cable, ask your mom and dad. Then connect your keyboard and your mouse through the USB ports that are provided on the Raspberry Pi. Here's my keyboard. You can have your own as well. And then let's move on to see the mouse. Here we are, a whole computer connected and ready to go. And here is the Raspberry Pi booting up as um, shown on my TV. So this is going to take a good 10, 15, even 20 minutes to uh, boot up. So be patient and wait for the Raspberry Pi to boot up. All right. And once it boots up, here's what you will see. Success. The OS has been successfully installed. And then what you need to do is just click on OK. Once you click on OK, you get a blue screen followed by a bunch of codes that's going to be running. Wait for all the codes to finish running. And here, as you see, these codes are running right after I press OK. and then you come to this screen. Here you have many options to choose from but um, what you need to do basically is to scroll down all the way and you see select and finish click on finish. Once you click on finish you're going to come to a command prompt. In this command prompt type start x s t a r t x and there you go, your Raspberry Pi 2 has booted up. This is the startup GUI or the graphical user interface for you to start on your all new Raspberry Pi. <laughs>